Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Alchemy with Zero Phase. Uh, I am your host, uh, Eric, or Zero if you want to call me. Uh, and uh, sorry, I'm still getting used to this whole video thing, and I, I cannot believe how many people uh, have been viewing these videos. I guess I'm producing something that uh, is useful for people. Um, I wanted to do a quick um, uh, tip uh, in regards to creating consistent characters. Now, uh, this is probably something some of you already know. Um, I, I found out about it several weeks ago and just hadn't really thought about it until somebody asked me about creating consistent characters like with uh, 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 coloring books or, or with uh, children's storybooks and, and just consistent characters all around. And this is just a quick, dirty trick, too. I mean, there is nothing to this. Uh, really, when you're, when you're creating a description, your prompt of a person in a porch or whatever, just add a name um, and you know you can change the name um, so as you can see I, I generated these four images here and the consistency across all four images is phenomenal uh, you get the same face same hair you know when you're describing the same hair now you, you, depending on how much you change the prompt it may change the way the character looks but it usually stays pretty consistent um, so I want to just do a quick example here. Uh, obviously I got these up. You can see these. You can see the prompt. Um, I did use an extensive multi-negative prompt on it. I don't think you really need that. I just, I just wanted to just to kind of create these really good photorealistic pictures. Um, so I want to start over and what we're going to do is we're just going to do a, a um, children's storybook character and I did this a little while ago because I was trying to do that and I've had some people ask me about that too so um, what we're gonna do is a uh, uh, let's do a children's oops. it's morning here children's wow I'm struggling in watercolor too. Uh, watercolor style vivid colors and then what we're going to do is at the beginning we're going to do a uh, um, highly detailed okay uh, I'm going to leave the dimensions the same uh, their portrait these other settings I'm gonna just leave uh, and, you know because we're doing a children's book it doesn't need to the steps don't need to be that high. I'm gonna drop it down to 30 um, we're gonna get rid of these here we're just gonna leave the prime negative in the lighting uh, see how that turns out and hit render on that let's see what it does <clears throat> so we're, we're generating a picture that we've named the girl Michelle and already you can tell we're getting quite a bit of consistency in what she looks like. You can see that the, the face, shape, style, the hair looks very similar. Uh, the 
clothing, the backpack. There are some minor details, obviously, with the AI struggling with the, the backpack and like where to position it. But um, if you look at the character's face, it is almost exactly the same. Let's let that finish rendering here. We'll pull up a closer look at it here. And uh, I think this, this is going to help a lot of people out in when you're generating characters. Uh, this will come in very handy, especially when you're using ControlNet uh, with OpenPose. You'll be able to consistently generate characters that have the same face and pose them in different uh, different poses. So let's bring that up. Yeah, very similar. You could run these through a children's book and get away with it. So uh, that's just a quick tip. Um, I am going to do a video on using Control Net, Open Pose, and uh, trying to generate. Um, uh, children's storybooks, I think. Uh, somebody asked me about that. And I thought, and, and uh, their question was more specific to how to integrate, like a person they know as the character in the storybook. And I'm I'm working on on figuring that out. Whether it's training a Laura or uh, f figuring out a way, maybe just having them like pose uh, uh, their children or whatever in the position they want using open pose and masking out their face so that doesn't change what everything else does so a lot of cool stuff we can do anyway appreciate you listening and we'll talk to you later